everyone and welcome back. I've just been doing a few more rocks um, for Love on the Rocks UK and their late, so the latest theme is um, Two Minute Tidy, hashtag Two Minute Tidy and it's just really promoting um, picking up litter from your local areas, um, litter from the beach and really it's all about recycling and being careful with your plastics and understanding what impact plastics have on our oceans. A few comments about um, blending with Posca pens and I am very new to this myself. I've only been um, doing this for I think it's three weeks this weekend. So um, as you'll see from my last video, I found a rock and it had this on the back, um, Love on the Rocks UK. Um, found it in the woods so we posted a picture to the website and I haven't really um, stopped since <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a quick video on blending with your Posca pens and um, let you let you see how easy it is really so I start with um, the rocks so I bought these at a garden center these are actually um, cobbles North Sea cobbles I believe they're called um, and I actually used these base coats so you guys can use whatever you want you can use acrylic paint or whatever I just found these really helpful because um, I've got so many colors they've got gorgeous colors um, tester pots in emulsion from Wilco's and so here are three that I've already done you guys don't really need to see that process and here are um, the rocks that I've done already um, over the last week it's taken quite a while to get them all done just after work and at weekends and things so yeah here are the um, rocks that I've already done. I'm particularly in love with the turtles I have to say so I will be showing you guys uh, a turtle one today and just showing you how to blend using your Posca pens. So guys the first thing you want to do is think about what colour you want your turtle to be. I'm going to show you just for these purposes um, just red and yellow. They're kind of my favourite colours um, and somebody asked me how easy it is to blend and I found it, I don't know, I found it relatively easy. I'm just going to go in with a, almost like a naive, I'm not going to go into too much detail, because um, you'll see it all come together after. So, oh, sorry, camera wobbling. So I tend to just give the pen a, a bit of a dab, and I already know I want a round, roundish shape. Again, we're not, um, we're not too perfect here, we're literally just going in with the base shape like that. And to blend, I basically paint where I want the red to be um, and I go around so we might just speed this up for you guys for the purpose so this is where I come in with my yellow so I dab a couple of times on the rock just to make sure the paint is coming out and then I'll go over the top here and then I'll just start to drag it into the red and what will happen is it will naturally just start to blend into orange and you just blend you just keep going over with the yellow until you kind of just don't see a harsh line anymore um, and that's your that's your blending it really is quite straightforward somebody said doesn't it mess up your tips it does stain your tips but not for long because it is a paint pen so a couple of dabs and you're back to the yellow You'll see it come back to its natural yellow now. You can see I'm really not um, taking time to do this delicately because actually once you've got your main turtle shape, you'll go over with the black Posca outline and it will all come, um, it'll all come neat and tidy in the end. So for those of you already using Poscas, you'll know that a couple of dabs just to get the paint out, sometimes it gets a bit dry um, a couple of dabs will bring your paint flow in so yeah that's that's pretty much okay where I want it and then I'm gonna go in with the red again just to fill that gap if you are worried about um, messing up the tip of your Posca what you could do is just use your fingers to blend it in yourself um, but I really haven't apart from my light blue I really haven't had any problems um, with my Poscas getting ruined by blending so yeah I think I'm I'm gonna leave that there I'm, I'm happy with the way that's blending in with each other 
quite easy to do if you if you overthink um it can be i guess it can be a little bit tricky because you end up overdoing things um you just want to bring out two fins guys are they even called fins help me out should have googled so my yellow's already got some red left on it so i don't even really have to blend that one it's already um, making it naturally orange and you want to come over to the other side these are the two front fins just that you can just do like um, semicircular shapes here and they work um, they work exactly for the purpose you want them to um, yeah so we've almost got the the real basic shape you want a head up here the head is small in comparison to the rest of the body but you guys you do it however you want to do it play it by ear um i'm just gonna try and i guess blend them in a bit with the rest of the body you may think i'm scribbling a bit but um over the top of this you see is going to be the black outline so you, you the under the under color doesn't really show um when there's black outline you can't really kind of see the rest and then I'm just going to do two base fins, um, and they're like bendy legs really. So again, don't spend too much time thinking about it, just trust yourself and go with it. Um, and they, you can have them look any way you want them to look. So I'm just going to do this. We're not talking about fine art here, guys. We're not talking about serious... <laughs> serious turtles i don't see many um red and yellow blended fire color turtles so yeah you do whatever colors you want i've got green and yellow blue purple orange red um i just brighter the better really okay so that is the general shape of this turtle Every now and again you have to dab it um, just to get more ink to come if it's almost dried out somewhat. I'm just going to go in with my yellow up there and soften that a bit. I'm happy with that. So that is the basic turtle shape. It looks really um, scribbled, a little bit naive in a way. Um, but once you go over with the black pen, you see it pops. So this is what the end result will look like. Um, so yeah, we'll wait for that to dry. And then I'll show you going in with the black pen, how easy it is to bring this little guy to life. So the beauty of Posca pens is they dry super, super fast. The downside is when you're blending, it's harder. It makes that harder. So um, to do the outline now, bring this little guy to life. Um, we're just going to use your black Posca and um, put some lines in. But I'll show you. Um, we're just going to go around the outside, really, um, with a almost like, um, I guess, <laughs> I don't even know the word, <laughs> a patterned edge. Um, like this. I don't know, guys. Semicircles? What would you call it? Almost like a, a stitch. Um, and again, it, it really is up to you guys what pattern you put on your turtles. But it all comes together in the end. The black marker makes it all pop. So I will speed this video up for you guys now. And... Stop talking, basically. Okay, now you're going to do the shell pattern. Entirely up to you guys. Um, I just go with the basic shell pattern. You can do anything you want. Swirls, hearts, diamonds. Um, but yeah, so this is the pattern that I have been doing on mine. So, almost, I guess, hexagonals. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, in the middle of those, I put some spirals. Up to you how you guys treat the fins. I tend to do scales um, just because it's simple, easy and quick. Um, I tend not to spend too much time on my on my rocks because I, you know, I'm, I am putting them out there for people to find and um, keep them or rehide them. So I don't want to spend days on one rock um, be just because I probably wouldn't be able to part with it <laughs> because I'm a little bit like that. Um, and we're almost done. It's a very quiet video. I've been talking a lot through this one. Um, yeah. And that's it, all done guys. Um, it's taken probably 15 minutes in total. Um, it took around about eight to 10 minutes for the paint to dry. Actually, I'm just gonna put some dots on the turtle's head. Just purely to add detail and no other reason. Um, I love these little guys um, and I love all the colors you can do. So hopefully um, you will have a go at this yourself. Um, I'm not saying you absolutely need to buy Posca pens. You can do this hobby for free um, with any pens you have laying around the home. Um, but I just, yeah, I chose to go all out and buy the Posca pens. So just a quick reminder, the blending, um, use your darker colour first and then go in with your lighter colour. Um, and the tip does come clean once you dab it a few times, I guess. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed watching. I've really enjoyed making these ones. They're so bright and colourful. And um, and the point is really, make someone smile. And send a little message at the same time. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye.